Good afternoon, Excellency. On behalf of ABAC 2017, I'd like to report to Excellency the issue that uh, business people. APEC 2070 Chair, Your Excellency, President Chen Dai Kuang, Your Majesty, Excellencies, APEC members, it is my great pleasure to warmly welcome you all to beautiful Da Nang. Each year we meet, we talk about issues of importance to us all, to Asia Pacific as a region and to business community and to all our individual economies, my colleagues and I recognize that this is both enormous privilege and great opportunity. Ours is valuable collaboration if we were able to achieve our shared APEC vision. We all recognize the advantages and those challenges of the great diversity of this region. Collectivity of our economies are the ancient room of growth for the world, but harnessing the potential is our greatest challenge. APEC has long understood the need to develop inclusive, sustainable economic growth and recognize our different stages of development the great potential that we will unleash if we embrace innovation in growing our region. However, AIBAC does not operate isolation of trend that swept the world, challenges of population, demographic climate change, disruption of rapid technology change, safety and security of our community and substantial shift in political and e economic position and stability. Recently, there has been reassuring sign of economic recovery. This is a welcome good news that, un that means greater pro prosperity for our people and positive step for further regional integration.
But we are not in a clear water yet. There are significant dangers if we become compelling. AVAC support non-discriminatory rule-based and multilateral training systems as our best avenue for growth and defend against protectionism around the world. However, the trend toward protectionism has gone since the global financial crisis as the impacts of trade have led positively by some but negatively by others. Indicators such as policy that build foundation skills encouraged through line learning to enable further reskilling for displaced workers and policy that enable business to adjust workforce changes. As a business community, we know that greater, not less, liberalization in goods and service will create opportunities for our entrepreneurs and workers. And that is significant more to be done to encourage investment flow around the region. Investment remains key to trade and to all our economy, making the case for trade, building confidence in trade investment policy while recognizing the need to mitigate the negative aspect of trade. We should pursue policy that strengthen resilient tariff barriers should be a regional priority. Clar clarify and consistent of rule across the sector through our region should provide significant relief to business and the seat to build an APEC community that is more financially integrated and transparency and resilient and connected. ABAC remains committed to vision of free trade area of the Asia Pacific as our greatest priority and the best way to achieve BOGO goal of free and open trade and investment in Asia Pacific. We urge the greatest progress in implementing the step outlined in Lima Declaration last year and will continue our strongest effort to support that work. As we quickly approach 2020, it is appropriate that ABAC community consider our future beyond the BOGO goal, that we think about what we want for our region and the people in coming decades. In ABAC, we strongly believe an, an in, inclusive, sustainable, stable, and vibrant regional economy bring prosperity to all in achievable goal. ABAC has delivered its annual report to APEC leaders with a number of recommendations. Concerning this and other important issues, which I commend to you all, we look forward to small group discussion on this and other topic. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Tariff barriers should be a regional priority. Clar clarify and consistent of rule across the sector through our region should provide significant relief to business and the seat to build an APEC community that is more financially integrated and transparency and resilient and connected. ABAC remain committed to vision of free trade area of the Asia Pacific. Đây là thời điểm chúng ta cần tìm ra những hướng đi mới để duy trì vai trò của APEC là động lực của tăng trưởng và liên kết kinh tế toàn cầu và châu Á Thái Bình Dương. At the global level and in the Asia Pacific, it is also timely for us to build a new vision for APEC as the forum is entering its fourth decade of development. For that reason, APEC economic leaders are ready to dialogue with the business community ahead of the important meeting tomorrow. 
lý tưởng của Hội đồng Tư vấn Doanh nghiệp sẽ là những cơ sở quan trọng để chúng tôi cân nhắc quyết định những hướng đi của APEC trong thời gian tới. Tôi đánh giá cao báo cáo của APEC mà ông Chủ tịch vừa trình bày, đồng thời hoan nghênh hai mươi quý vị rất cụ thể của Cộng đồng Doanh nghiệp khu vực. Tôi cho rằng những đề xuất của các bạn đưa ra đều rất thiết thực. All of your recommendations are very practical and important. The issues that attract the attention of the business community, particularly regional economic integration, connectivity, boosting trade and investment flows, micro, small and medium enterprises, inclusive growth, food security, APEC post-COVID vision, amongst others, are also issues đang chăn trở và trao đổi để tìm ra những giải pháp và hướng đi Tôi xin nhấn mạnh một số điểm như sau. Thứ nhất, liên kết kinh tế, kết nối, tự do hóa thương mại và đầu tư đã, đang và sẽ tiếp tục là ưu tiên hàng đầu của các APEC. Các nền kinh tế thành viên đều cam kết sẽ đẩy mạnh hoàn tất việc thực hiện các mục tiêu của Bogor, trong đó tập trung hơn vào các lĩnh vực dịch vụ, đầu tư và các biện pháp giảm rào cản phi thuế quan. APEC cũng sẽ đẩy mạnh hơn việc triển khai các kế hoạch đã được thông qua, nổi bật là kế hoạch tổng thể để kết nối APEC, luôn có kết nối chuỗi cung ứng, lộ trình về hợp tác dịch vụ giai đoạn 2016, Roadmap for 2016 to 2025. At the same time, APEC needs to focus more on emerging issues such as cross-border e-commerce, the roadmap on the internet and digital economy, amongst others. At the APEC economic Connect supply chains, strengthen the multilateral trading system, promote regional trade agreements, and move towards the realization of a free trade area of the Asia Pacific. Second, we share the business community's concerns on the need to increase MSME's participation in global markets, improve businesses' access to finance and enhance women's economic empowerment. The greater participation of businesses in general and women entrepreneurs in particular will inject new impetus to foster sustainable and inclusive growth. We are committed to developing effective policy and legal frameworks to create a better environment for the business community. Third, Your recommendations on accelerating economic, financial and social inclusion, achieving food and energy security, promoting quality workforces in the digital age, reflect the urgent issues to be addressed to ensure innovative, sustainable and inclusive growth. Since the beginning of this year, we have instructed APEC officials at all levels to focus on building long-term cooperation frameworks for economic, financial and social inclusion, human resources development in the digital age, food security in response to climate change and rural urban development. These issues will also be in the agenda of tomorrow's meeting. Fourth, I highly value the contributions made by the business community towards the idea of an APEC post-2020 vision. APEC has been successful for the past three decades, and the forum is now at a pivotal juncture. I call on the business community to continue making active contributions and working with us to accomplish the task to build a new vision for the APEC Forum in the decades to come. Ladies and gentlemen, we can be proud that 
APEC has become one of the most successful cooperation forums in connecting the governments with the business community. The APEC Business Advisory Council, together with the Pacific Economic Cooperation Council and the APEC Voices of the Future, have always been the companions of APEC throughout the past decades to make joint contributions towards prosperous development in the Asia Pacific. Throughout the APEC year 2017 in Vietnam, the business community has made active contribution to all important APEC meetings. Many events within the framework of APEC meetings have been organized by businesses, notably the APEC Stocks Up Forum, the APEC Public-Private Dialogue on Enhancing Capacities of MSMEs, and APEC Entrepreneurs Forum. The business community has also actively participated in and proposed ideas and the deliberations and dialogues, including those on APEC towards 2020 and beyond, inclusive growth, food security, sustainable tourism, among many others. Let us continue to uphold this close and effective cooperation mechanism. I wish that the business community will continue to be the government's companion at this critical juncture and beyond. I firmly believe that your companionship will provide new impetus to realize APEC's ultimate goal for the benefit of the people and businesses. I wish you very fruitful discussions. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Excellency, for your comprehensive and inside remarks. Cooperation Council and the APEC Voices of the Future have always been the companions of APEC throughout the past decades to make joint contributions towards prosperous development in the Asia Pacific. Throughout the APEC year 2017 in Vietnam, the business community has made active contribution to all important APEC meetings. Many events within the framework of APEC meetings have been organized by businesses, notably the APEC Stocks Up Forum, the APEC Public-Private Dialogue on Enhancing Capacities of MSMEs, and APEC Entrepreneurs Forum. The business community has also actively participated in and proposed ideas and the deliberations and dialogues, including those on APEC towards 2020 and beyond, inclusive growth, food security, sustainable tourism, among many others. Let us continue to uphold this close and effective cooperation mechanism. I wish that the business community will continue to be the government's companion at this critical juncture and beyond. I firmly believe that your companionship will provide new impetus to realize APEC's ultimate goal for the benefit of the people and businesses. I wish you very fruitful discussions. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Excellency, for your comprehensive and inside remark. Now I would like to invite the leaders and ABAC members to break out section, please. Thank you.